All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping okay. Now, I'm back down in Brixham in South Devon, having a weekend break. And of course, any break in Brixham has to involve a fishing rod. The last time I made a video here was back in October and I caught some really good whiting. It's now late January, so it will be interesting to see how we get on. If you like, this video will be a bit of a comparison because I'll be fishing the same spot on the breakwater. High tide is around 5.30 this evening, so we'll be fishing into the dark. I'll be using two rods. On the one rod will be a three hook flapper rig with size 1.0 long shank hooks. And on the second rod, there will be a 4.0 pulley panel rig. That one is for big baits. So I'm gonna get changed, get my stuff together, and I'll see you down there. Cracking lock there guys, first cast, left hand rod. Yeah, we got something on here, got something, first cast. We got a mackerel, the mackerel's taking the squid on the top hook and uh, on the bottom hook, we've got a small white in. Oh well, a nice bit of first cast action there. Let's get him back in. There we are guys, straight away on the second cast. I think it's fair to say that uh, the water is black with fish once again. In terms of good whiting, I think we're gonna have to wait until that uh, light drops. At the moment, there appears to be a lot of small stuff out there, lots of mackerel, you know, and they're taking the bait as well. But yeah, that's two casts and bites within seconds. So, uh, that's Brixham for you. Bang, 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 bang.
As you can see guys, I've not cast the uh, big bait rod out yet. I'm going to keep that for when it gets dark. But uh, so far, the signs are good. Let's hope it continues. Small white then on the ragworm. There he is. Look at that. Little devils. No, they're not white in on the flapper egg, they're mackerel. They're good ones too. Here we are. He took the squid. Let's pop him back in. And there he goes again. It can wait a second. Oh. <laughs> we're losing the light now. I'd say we're about an hour and three quarters off high water. So far, I've had loads of small white in and uh, quite a few nice mackerel, you know, good ones. You often find that down here in the winter, you get some really good mackerel. I'll give it now another 30 minutes and I'll put the big bait rod out there, the 4-0 pulley pen or rig. I'll probably start with a whole squid and a bit of bluey. Oh, that sunset over there is uh, cracking. Beautiful. Just nice being out.
three hooks, three fish. Job done. Job done. So on the top hook, we've got a, a mackerel, quite a small one, this one. And then on the second and third hook, we've got two small white then. There we are. Right, let's pop them back in. Oh well, they're getting bigger, just <laughs> another white in. Oops. There he is. He took the, uh, took a piece of bluey. Right, that's the big bait rod out there. I put on a big bluey and squid cocktail. You never know, we could get a bull hass or a conga. It's one big mystery. It's almost proper dark now. So hopefully some big white in will move in. Yeah, the old flapper rod is uh, going again. I've literally had a bite every single cast, right from the outset. Talk about uh, action packed. Good to see though, it's good to see. The last few weeks upon the Bristol Channel, where I live, I've been uh, struggling big time. But, uh, you know, it's good to see the old rod tips bouncing away. So, let's see what the night brings. Yeah, the old northwesterly is uh, picking up again now. Strange. It did calm right down, but it's a bit blowy now. Lovely, though. Just nice being out. Next to the water, wet in her line. Good for the mind, good for the soul. Happy days. Better white in you guys. This one took a piece of squid. There he is. Slightly better. Again, that was straight away, as soon as the bait hit the water. Again, just landed, literally just landed. It's absolute carnage out there. Carnage.
yeah, I've uh, been coming to Brixham now for around 10 years. And I have to say, it's one of those places whereby you're pretty much guaranteed to catch. I don't mean that in an arrogant way. That's based purely on uh, experience. I cannot ever remember coming here and blanking, ever. And I fished this breakwater hundreds of times in the past. Quite rare these days, but like I said earlier, it's really good to see. We all know that um, there's not as many fish in the sea as there once was. And so, uh, yeah, it's good to, you know, to see so many out there. Long may it continue. The old flapper rod has been going for a while, so uh, I'm going to take a look. Not a bad whiten. Well, I say not bad, he's, he's quite small actually. There he is. Oops, he's lively this one. He took the, uh, took the squid. I'm getting quite a few on squid tonight. Still nothing on the big bait rod. At the moment on there, I've got half a bluey. The old sky is starting to uh, clear now, so I think we're gonna have a frost tonight. Big full moon above. It's going to be cold in the morning. There we are guys, another three fish here. On the top hook, we've got uh, a pouting. On the middle hook, we've got a whiting, small whiting. And on the bottom hook, we've got another small pouting. Right then guys, time for me to make a move now. Once again, it's been very enjoyable. I've had loads of bites and I've had loads of fish. I've not shown you everyone on camera, but it's been action packed to say the least. All right, I've not caught anything massive, but to me, a fish is a fish and uh, I enjoy it all the same. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. 
is mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, look after yourselves, take care, all the best.